Anyway, it's another prize fighter next week, the super middleweight, and I love the list. It's got it's got a bit of everything. Old, young, experienced, inexperienced, nutcases, bangers, dangerous fighters, eccentrics. And that's just ringside. <laughs> anyway, great stuff. It's on Sky next Wednesday. There's a plug for Sky. There is talk of another prize fighter in May, a big one. There is talk of an orderly return. There is talk of Darren Barker's next fight. There is only one man who can talk about it with authority, and it's a delight and a pleasure to welcome back to the show Eddie Hearn. Good evening, Ed. Bonksy, how are you doing, mate? Eddie, you're in the ring with these two today on, pri- on, on, on ringside. Could you I feel the tension? I'm buzzing. I'm talking about boxing in general, Bunchy. I think we've had, a, we've had yeah. a, some good news this last couple of weeks. Have you we know? ever. Obviously, Hay and Klitschko finally getting it on. Bang. We've got Karna McCluffy coming Bang. up. Great that DeGale and uh, Groves have finally signed on the dotted line. We've got prize fighter next Wednesday. Spending a lot of time with Darren Barker. I'm so excited like about him. him. And then we've got the, the international heavyweights on May the 7th. You made May the 7th. Great right. time. Ed, let me just, I'm going to ask you about May the 7th first, mm. if I can. What, what's the story there? I mean, I'm hearing all sorts of names. Give us, give, give us a few tidbits. Well, it's unbelievable. I mean, talking about international heavyweights, May the 7th, and it's just gone through the roof. I mean, <laughs> I put the idea out there. A lot of people have been, been talking about it. And the names that are coming forward are unbelievable at the moment. We're looking at over six countries represented wow. in, in the lineup. Um, two or three former world champions, European, Commonwealth, British champions, um, and, and the lineup's endless. Obviously, we want to make sure that the, the board have a very strict policy over here of letting certain people fight. Sure. So I'm not looking for, with all due respect to a lot of people in the marketplace, I'm not looking for washed-up names. Yeah. I want people who can come and fight. I want a credible event with, with big-hitting, entertaining personalities. And some of the names coming forward at the moment is just unbelievable. And you know, in this heavyweight division at the moment, the winner of this prize fighter is going to set themselves right, right up for a shot. You know, and, Straight and back I think in that it. the way the way it's going and the, the names that are coming out at the moment, everyone wants to be a part of it, and it, it's it's a great buzz to be around. And Ed, where might it be? Is it a London gig? Yeah, it will definitely be London. We're looking at the XL Arena at the moment, um, but we want to just basically. I, I will have four or five names to announce at prize fighter next week in Liverpool. And, um, you know, it's going to be a great show. Great, great show. Great international names. Huge names. People, people that the fans want to see. And there seems to be a huge buzz on the forums and, mm. and just around boxing in general about the international heavyweight prize fighter. Well, let's move. Be, who's in there? What names are going to come out? You know, and, and the forums are important. You yeah, know, I know a, I always talk fans. about each type boxing. I read them 25 times a day because... They're the fans. You know, there's, there's, there's bright people on there and you can always find out different bits of information there, sometimes quicker than other places. Now, listen, I'll give you an idea. There's a good piece on one of them about the ticket prices for this for this James de Gaulle fight. I saying, read it a minute ago. Saying the cheapest <laughs> tickets for the James de Gaulle fight are £10 less than the cheapest tickets for Ricky Burns last weekend I in Scotland. I, just, I, read, I read that exact thread and, you know... What we've got to understand about James DeGale and George Groves is this is a big fight within the boxing community. Yeah. Don't expect this show to do 16, 17,000 tickets. You think it might? It, you think it won't do it? I think, I think it'll do it. No. I think this might take off. No. Hey, listen, it'll take off because it'll be hype. Well, and it's a true story. You know, it's like going to be a great fight, yeah. Today, there is a real animosity <laughs> between these two, and it is a buzz. And I tell you, as a boxing fan, it's a mouth-watering crash. crash. Mm. But it's a mouth-watering crash to a boxing fan. To a fan. boxing fan. Okay, you know, and. And, and these boys, this is a domestic fight. It's a great British title fight. It is not a great world title, title fight. fight. And it will not attract the masses. It will attract a great boxing audience. It will be a great fight. But, but in my opinion, it's not a 16, 17,000. Right. Let, it... let me ask you about a guy, that, and you've got to keep this quick because I want to get through two things. Let me ask mm. you about a guy that did does have crossover. We know that very well. Audley Harrison, some more fights. Is he still talking to you? Are you still his friend? Yeah, listen, I'm, of course you are. We, we, we've got a duty. I'm not the kind of person just to bin someone off, you know. Well, of course I was supposed to have I set him up with an opportunity of a lifetime. He failed. He has to live with that. Yep. Um, you know, we speak. I spoke yesterday. Um, he's looking at having... He's just had an, another operation on his shoulder, actually. Wow. Um, a very small one. But Audley Harrison will not be taking part in international prize fight Good. heavyweight. Right. Uh, well, uh, I wasn't coming... Now, and you mentioned you mentioned Darren Barker. Just to remind yeah. me again where Darren's fight. He's fighting Sparta for the European side. Just remind yeah, me where Darren it's going to be. Barker, he was on ringside today. Good. Uh, 30th of April, Olympia. Tickets went on sale this week. Good. Uh, he's fighting Dominico Sparta for the uh, European title. Sparta is ranked 7 in the uh, WBC. Barker is 6. And, you know, once Darren deals with Dominico Sparta, we're going to be pushing for the winner of the, uh, you know, the, the Chavez fight and, um, and and gunning for a WBC title. I've been so impressed with Dan. I mean, every, everyone you speak to... What a to kid. Yeah, what a nice you kid. What, what a lovely guy is. Yeah, but I beyond like that, well. everyone you speak to in boxing, you know, whether it's Adam Booth tells me how, how unbelievable Darren Barker is. Jim McDonald today tells me how unbelievable Darren Barker is. He's got 
a great amount of ability and he's got a big following. Mm. And, you know, that's going to be a great show on 30th of April. Right, Eddie, then before I let you go, and thanks for joining mm. us, let's talk about next Wednesday. Close your eyes. Yeah. It's Olympia. What a lineup! Sadly, we lost Adrian Dodson. Mm. But what a lineup! And just talk to me about a two or two, maybe two or three of them that you're really looking forward to next week. Well, you know, prize fight is one of those things that there's a lot of people trying to make the weight and a week or course, ten days before, a lot of people fail to make the weight. And actually, that's the good thing about the heavyweights is you never, you never really get any withdrawals. Sure. But people have got to understand what, what you put your body through during prize fire. It's a tough night. And if you're not up to speed, like the Tony Quigley situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to be in a position where we make a call with the fighter for their safety. And you know, I don't want anyone getting hurt in there. This is a tough competition yeah. where you're putting it on the line for three minutes, you know, three rounds, and all throughout the night. And it's, it's a frantic pace. And if your body's not up to it, we don't want it. We don't want any problems. So, you know, we always make sure that the field is right and we can do the fans justice. Mm-hmm. And next next Wednesday is going to be a cracker because we're always based in London and now we're up in Liverpool with a fighting city. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot of uh, scout Locals. fighters fighting yeah. up there. Loads, you I've, know, got Joey, I've got Joey. I've got Joey. I've got Joey Ainscuff on the show. And I mean, exactly, lovely boy. Yeah. Great story. You know, great, great stand, story. He deserves a shot. And of course, Robin Reed. Yeah. You know, I was with Robin Reed today. Robin looks unbelievable. He can't stop lifting his top up. And he showing looks better me now. Back. I know. It drives he me does. mad. But, you know, he's buzzing, you know, mm. and he wants to fight James DeGale. He wants to fight the winner of James DeGale and George Groves. Hey, listen, and he's up for it. And he tells me... Don't rule it out. Know, oh, well, you know, <laughs> if you win prize, listen, let's look at the super middleweight division at the moment. Yeah. Outside of DeGale and Groves, who is there? No, you're right. You know, I mean, uh, you know... The winner, the winner of next week's prize fighter. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> why not? Listen... You know, and, uh, and they've already got the profile through prize fighter to take that fight. And, and, so and exciting the ca- times. And as always with prize fighter... You know, the mix of the old guard coming through, the young guys trying to make their mark right. in the game. But just just so exciting just to be a part and seeing that, you know, when you do the draw today, whatever event, you, you make the draw three or four or five days before the fight, then you find out who you're fighting, then you adjust your tactics, mm-hmm. then you go in there, you know, you've got three fights and, the, and to take the money home and, more importantly, change your life. Uh, listen, Eddie, it's brilliant. I'll see you on Wednesday up at Olympia for Prize we'll It's on Sky, but I'll be ringside. Like, Eddie, thanks very much for your time there. Eddie Hearn, whoa, you're, you're James DeGaulle. Uh, people online are saying, Bunsy, you dodged his question. No, I didn't answer his question. I didn't dodge his question because I can't say I fancy James or I can't say uh, I fancy George because it's, it's months away yet. Let, come back to me in the week and I'll give you an indication. But I'm telling you, it's about the night. It's about the day. Who would have thought Nassim Hamid would go out and to fight Marco Antonio Barrera and spar for three rounds? Who would have thought? There you go.